Hey everyone, this is Accelerate. Hey Drifter, how are you? Hey Accelerate, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine as well. So, this is Drifter. He's uh, the coach of Team Rave. So, he he's going to be our stats man for this video. And we're going to be predicting the Boston Major predictions. So, you can uh, secure those sweet points. The first one is the most picked hero. I know yeah. we have already discussed about this one yeah. a bit. The main point about uh, my prediction for Augur is that uh, this hero is being picked a lot by all the teams throughout all the regions. And uh, the biggest reason is that um, this is a support that cannot die easily by enemy carry or enemy mid laner. And this is a support that can do a very high damage to enemy support or even enemy carry in the early game. So. All the teams are really preferring Ogre in this patch and so I just feel like we should go with Ogre. Yep. He'll I'd surely be the most big hero. Yeah, I agree with you. He's pretty good with the rotations. He has a nice slow and a stun and gives attack speed and damage to his carry. The next prediction is the most banned hero. Okay, for this, um, I'll give uh, three options. Um, I prefer offlane heroes more because what happens is that every team wants to have a secure lane for their safe lane carry. Right? Yeah. So what they do is that what they think is that if the enemy offlaner doesn't have his preferable hero, yeah. he won't if we won't be able to play as good as he used to. Okay. Right. And so they'll ban um, uh, most of the uh, preferred offlane heroes in the first place. Yeah. So I think offlane heroes will get the most bans throughout the. Uh, tournament and so I prefer Slada, Nyx or Sand King. Uh, Sand King and Slada are the seem better choices to me and Sand King works great against the melee heroes but it suffers a bit against ranged heroes and it has to uh, switch to jungle and bit and Slada does it faster and Slada is really good at creating the pressure uh, on the enemy safe lane and if he can keep the pressure that keeps the st supports from rotating to the mid lane to gank the mid laner the next would be hero with the highest win rate minimum five games played we'll have to select a hero that yeah. is a very good hero but who is banned a lot and uh, will be picked less but will be picked more than five games at least so for me the choice is alchemist okay and uh, i think he'll be picked at least five games in this entire tournament and uh, okay. he'll surely win uh, most of the games he's playing. Okay, so I think uh, that on this one, highest win rate, it has to be picked really less and it has to be highly impactful. So uh, I think that the teams that may not be going far ahead in this one, in this uh, Boston Major, they might pick Alchemist as well as Alchemist is a pretty uh, good hero in the meta right now so just throw me up with uh, just uh, give me some more choices I want to play with some options here do you have any other options that come to your mind yeah we can of course go with uh, Morphling because okay. this guy will be picked a lot and this guy will surely win so many games yeah and uh, he really has a good impact in this current match I'm, I'm gonna go with Morphling on this one because uh, he does better what uh, Alchemist offers because he, uh, he can push the lanes and he can push the towers faster than him which is ob uh, obviously uh, better for the objective gaming. He can also rat better because he has better escape than Alchemist. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'll go with Mopling on that one. So the next one is Hero with the highest kill average. Okay. Uh, for this one, I need to select Tinker. Because okay. whatever games he, he plays, he's going to have lots of kills because he is the case lord, right? Okay. No matter how, what skill he uses, he's going to have kills. Okay, right? he's the case he lord. Build a, <laughs> yeah, of course. He's, he's going to build uh, Dagon if he wants. He can build Scepter, he can build Aether Lens. And uh, no matter what items he chooses, he can surely get kills more than any other hero. We'll get Tinker. Okay, so the next one is uh, the hero with the highest assist average. Again, minimum five games played. Yeah, for this, uh, I want to select Team Perso. In the past tournaments, when the Spectre was in meta, obviously the Spectre won this uh, pick. 
uh, won the zero pick. So Zeus and Spectre were really highly likely choices. But in the current meta, I think the heroes that build Radiance, they will do AOE damage and impact every every hero in the team fight. If I were uh, if I were to pick a Radiance hero for uh, assists, would you th would that be a Naga Siren or an Alchemist? Yeah, I would surely uh, prefer Naga Siren more. Okay, because, so uh, he'll have he'll have his illusions around all the enemy heroes. Yes, yes. Now Alchemist I can have two illusion heroes, and maybe others can just escape easily, or uh, yeah, they have a better time fighting Alchemist illusions than uh, Naga illusions. Yeah, and even Alchemist will be uh, played more often, and that's a chance that he might not get as many good games as a Naga would get because the number of games played would be less. So I think the average would be better on Naga Siren. So I think I'll go with Naga Siren on this one. Though I would also like everyone uh, to keep in mind the option without the radiance, the Timber Saw, and maybe yeah. Zeus. But Zeus might not get uh, f five uh, picks. So yeah, that's a yeah. bit ignorable. Yes, so okay. So the next is hero with the lowest death average. Um, for this, I have a clear selection of uh, Morphling. Why? Because <clears throat> in this patch, Morphling is really hard to kill. Okay. Yeah. And he has two escaping skills. He, he also builds a Lincolns and Manta sometimes, so he can dispel one silence and he yeah, can so prevent one hex. So they really, they really need to plan the gank really well. So I agree with you on this one. Morphling is a really uh, nice choice. Yeah. If, if they want to kill more things, they need to have so many disables. Yeah. And, and they need to put lots of efforts to Mana kill burn as well. Mana burn is uh, one of the better options to get him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. In this in this last patch, yeah, uh, they decrease the mana pool of Morphling, but uh, it hasn't impacted a lot. Still, yeah. Morphling is uh, really hard to Yeah, kill. because he builds a lot of stats items, so it gives him a lot of mana pool yeah, intelligence. Yeah, it's easy for him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's easy for him because that's his normal build. Scenario. Yeah. Hero with the highest last hit average. This is pretty easy, I think. <laughs> Everyone will. Uh, this, is, this is either Alchemist or a Naga Siren. So. Yeah, of course, Alchemist because. Okay. Uh, even Naga Siren is good, no doubt. Uh, Naga Siren is uh, currently being played by which teams? Do you have any idea? I I have uh, certainly seen No Tail play it a lot. He really likes that micro hero yeah. and he's practicing it. Uh, no, no Tail is such a guy that he's a. Uh, Micro Pro. Yeah. Okay. And I have <laughs> seen in the uh, Beyond of Summit. Okay. Eiji Beyond the Summit. Yeah. Uh, Io and Naga Siren against OG. Yeah. Right. So Naga Siren is really a good choice for OG. Then uh, Kyo is a player. And yeah. And MVP is a team that has really relied on uh, Phantom Assassin and Naga Siren. Okay. And uh, <laughs> if you want to control Kyo and a uh, the players are deciding that uh, Kyo should play a little better and if yeah. he chooses Naka Siren then he can feed less and uh, he can contribute more. So the uh, so there are uh, there are few teams that play Naga Siren and they have really exceptional players for their Naga Sirens. Yeah absolutely but so, uh, as far as I, I as far as I believe most of the pro teams they do have really good carries and they do have uh, proficiency on Naga Siren. But uh, oh, yeah. OG and MVP have a better hand. I would really love to see an RTZ Naga this Boston Major. Yeah, even RTZ Naga. Yeah, <laughs> I remember those days uh, before two years when he used to go mid Naga Siren and uh, yeah, uh, he has he you know he really brought out Naga Siren with the highest last hits. Yeah, I I, I, I still remember that game uh, in the summit when uh, No Tail and Puppy were casting it. I think and they were really hyping the shit out of Naga Siren, RTZ's Naga Siren that they cannot lose the game and uh, everything is going well for them and stuff and they actually lost the game, RTZ actually, RTZ Naga lost that game, that was an epic game. The Naga Siren and Alchemist team the proper choices for this one. So the next one is Hero with the highest XPM average, which one would you uh, give for this? this uh, for this, uh, I'd like to go with Invoker because yep. that guy is, like he builds the Midas my mind is first. Yep. Right. And he really relies ability. on those those levels that he gets from Midas, uh, rather than the gold that he gets from the Midas. So, it is yeah, a must-have item for Invoker. The next one would be Hero with the most skills in a game. Um, I would suggest Tinker. 
Okay. Because Tinker is the case, you know. Yeah. Uh, he has been my choice earlier. So, when it comes to kills, I prefer Tinker, no matter what. Okay. So, uh, again, reminding everyone that this is in a game. So, this can be actually a legendary game by any player on any hero. But uh, this is all about probability and what heroes are likely to get this. So, our suggestion is Tinker for this one. So, the next one is hero with the most last hits in a game. For this, of course, uh, the same choices for the last hit average applies. People yeah. can either go for Alchemist, Nagasai, and or Ember. Yep. Um, it's just their personal preference. I'll choose the Alchemist on the last one. Okay. So, the team predictions. Which team will win? Who do you favor? Wings. Uh, what is Pro defeated Wings in uh, Beyond the Summit? Yeah. But uh, I think that Wings is a kind of team that just doesn't give up. Yeah. They uh, they're definitely longer together than any of the other teams uh, in the Boston Major because yeah, most so of the team wins under shuffles. Yeah. So they have the same roster, but uh, the main advantage they have is that they practice a lot. So. I really think that practice and the team chemistry and the natural bonding that comes in the between uh, comes in between players, uh, yeah, their relation if, if among DC themselves, has all matters. Good practice. If DC has done good practice, then of course they'll have a good time. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, the good options would be for this one would be EG, Wings, Virtus Pro. Virtus Pro have really proven that they're a really strong team in the the summit the summit six. If you are a fanboy, choose anything you want, but. Uh, we already gave you the best choices. There would be EG Wings, Virtus Pro. Yeah, so for okay, me the best choice is Wings, no matter what, because the, okay. the team is. Yeah, because their hero pool is undoubtedly. They you cannot counter them. You cannot plan and strat against them. Yeah. Okay. So the next question, making a bit fast, team with the most kills in a game. Virtus Pro. Yeah, we all have seen the summit. <laughs> this is no doubt. Yeah, because the KDA. Uh, CIS teams are famous for just fighting and killing and ganking and yeah. they don't they don't really uh, uh, think about dying they just yep. want to kill more moving on to the next wish, uh, next one team with the highest kill average i think that again goes to a again yeah okay. because they're going to fight a lot okay. team with the fewest deaths in a game um for this uh, we have two choices either it's going to be lfy that is shawit's team or it's going to be newbie and uh, as I have seen newbie play, they are really uh, what we say. Uh, they are really sincere, sincere in the game. This, this is really a this is a really random uh, one yeah. because it's in one game. Any team can have a flawless game. Last uh, in the last major or maybe in the TI, uh, some teams won 22-0, I think, or 22-1. It was easy, I think. So. Deaths can be, uh, but since Sumel plays pretty aggressively, so I don't think this will be easy this time. So it can be uh, any team that fight less and focus on the objectives more and play together as a team. And obviously, Zhao Aid, the director, is a really good, uh, uh, good at commanding on how to approach the game and where yeah, and when to execute. In, uh, objective gaming. So. so I'll I'll also go with LGD for every young. Is yeah, you can go for LG, LG, uh, LFY. Yeah. Okay, but uh, I'm going for newbie. Okay, so you're going with newbie. Okay, the team with most assists in a game. Um, for this, I'd like to select faceless, and uh, the reason for this is that they were very high KDA. Okay. This in the month of October and November. Yeah. Their KD, their average KDA has been 5.2. Okay. And uh, Virtus Pro is at second place. Their KDA is at uh, 5.0. Okay. Okay. So I feel that uh, faceless they fight a lot. Yeah. And uh, they're really uh, even playing better. So I I'll just give a little bit of edge to faceless. Even Virtus Pro can be a good selection. But okay. just for this particular selection, I like to go with faceless. So uh, in uh, in the past months. Uh, which tournaments has Faceless played uh, against? Because I didn't follow them, so... Uh, Faceless has been uh, playing mostly in the SE region. They played Pro Dota Cup. Okay. And uh, they played uh, Beyond the Summit. In Beyond the Summit, they performed uh, very bad. Yeah. They lost uh, both the series. And okay. in Pro Dota Cup, they won the entire tournament because it was just based in 
SEA. Okay, so their high KDA might be against the poorer teams in skill yeah, of in course. terms of skill. Yeah, yeah. yeah so against SEA teams. So yeah. What is what is pro and faceless void have the really high KDA uh, according to the stats? So I think I'll go with what is pro on this one since I really. Uh, it's it's uh, we definitely have to see them perform against the good teams first the faceless team uh, so i'll go with vertis pro here okay okay so the team that wins the longest game uh, we can go for vertis pro okay vertis pro uh, what's your uh, ideology no, behind mean, that uh, team They're, that can win the longest game they are really aggressive uh, i think we should go for uh, lfy okay uh, the reason for this is that uh, most of the games will be long games okay jao it is famous for uh, defending situations high ground defense and he yep. makes his yeah yeah and he makes his team play carefully so of course they have a better chance at winning longer games yeah i think uh, mushi was mushi would have been a really good uh, at uh, commanding it but sadly fanatic won't be making it to the boston major and they even disbanded so they'll be coming with a new team yeah. uh, so the next is the team that wins the shortest game what is pro of course <laughs> so they are going to they are going to kill so much in the early game early game so they're going to win first okay so okay okay yeah. So the team with the highest game length average, I guess that is again LGD. Yeah, LFY. Uh, LGD forever young, yeah. So LFY. Yeah. So yeah. the team that picks the most different heroes. This is undoubtedly Wings, man. <laughs> this is Wings. Absolutely. So the next is team that picks the fewest different heroes, minimum ten games played. So we need to see a a team that does play uh, that reaches about uh, the quarterfinals. Yeah, this is a very uh, smart situation. What happens is that, look, complexity is going to have the least number of heroes picked throughout, but th uh, they won't be able to play ten games at least. You understand? Okay. So that's why we need to select a team that will at least play ten games. Yeah. And still has uh, low draft variation. Okay. Right. So. So for this reason, I'd like to go with uh, NP. Okay. NP. So since it is not clearly uh, mentioned here that it is only for the uh, main stage event or for the group stages as well, so we are guessing a team that should at least go through the group stages and uh, at least play a few rounds in the playoffs. So yeah, team so NP is a really good so choice here. Make ten games at least. Yeah. yeah. So. And obviously they have a uh, NP is a newly formed team, so they. they will uh, although it's uh, nv so they have they will probably have some strats up their sleeves but uh, i think nv will be favoring some particular strats and will be picking a few heroes more often so this is uh, they will most likely end up with a few hero picks and variants yeah absolutely okay so the player predictions here comes the uh, page that used to be filled with miracles <laughs> in yeah, the past events Was in T I six because uh, many player many many people were uh, big fan of miracles. So. Yeah. So this time the player with the highest kill average. What's your pick? Um, for me, right now the best player in the patch is Ramses. Okay. Okay. So. And in all the sixteen teams right now, yeah. For me, they're highly Ramses aggressive. And uh, I think that. Uh, He'll play really exceptional in all the matches, so I like to go with Ramses. Player with the most kills in a game. I like to go with Zia, because uh, this guy has a lot of potential. Okay, and uh, when he plays, he plays really, really good. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you repeat your me. repeat your choice? I uh, the game sound clouded your voice. I like to go with uh, Viha. Okay, Viha. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, because he is an exceptionally oh, okay. good player, and uh, when he has rhythm, he'll just go for kills that uh, normally we wouldn't think a player would go for such kind of kill, and he'll still get the kill. Next one is player with the lowest death average. 
Uh, for this, I just go with him just because he is an exceptionally great Slark and Mofling player, and uh, he'll surely play a lot of games with these heroes. Okay, Slark and uh, which one? Mofling. So Mofling. I'll yeah. so go with Ramses. Okay. So yeah. the player with the highest assist average. Blink. Blink. Yeah. Wings do play all a lot of team fights together, and uh, Blink does play non greedy mid. Uh, sh uh, he uh, does like to give shadow all the kills. Uh, he also plays the bat rider at mid, which mo many teams don't. So he's uh, he's the one who's ready to sacrifice the kills for shadow, so k shadow can uh, grow up really fast and take the control of the game. <coughs> So uh, the next one would be player with the most assists in a game. For this, uh, I like go with Q because if he plays Naga Siren, okay, it uh, really have a big impact on the game. All right, and uh, he really have so many assists and kills that okay. uh, I don't think I'd like to go with any other player than. Q. Okay, so this does synchronize with the heroes with highest assist. <laughs> I picked Naga Siren over there, so Q O seems yeah. nice to me. Okay, yeah, so the player with the highest last hit average. Again, Ramses. Okay, no so uh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Okay, so he has that good stats, huh? Yeah, he has, and uh, he's really a stable carry. Okay. And he really performs so well in every game. Okay. So yeah, uh, I think V P are doing great right now. The the team is really. Cohesive, they are really, really doing pretty good. So, okay, so the next one is player with the most last hits in a game. Again, Ramses. Again, Ramses. Okay. Yeah. I have no reason to go against you on this one as well. <laughs> player with yeah. the player with the most GPM in a game. Um, look for this. Um, Any player who plays like Alchemist for, a lot. Yeah, yeah, we like to go for a player that plays Alchemist perfectly. Okay. Okay, so okay, and uh, it for this I like to go with Viha. Okay, so uh, which of the players prefer Alchemist? I do know that uh, Wings like to play Alchemist on Blink, uh, and they also play pretty well around the Alchemist. But uh, the games I remember from Alchemist, they usually uh, weren't uh, they usually weren't that far ahead in the game, but they did come back on the base. Uh, on the back of that alchemist, so I think Vihar does take the advantage in the early game compared to Blink on alchemist, and yeah, he true. he is definitely one of the most uh, greed, uh, he is one of the greediest mid players in the scene right now. Okay, and he can really perform well when it comes to the point. He'll really have a big impact. So if he plays alchemist, he's going to play perfectly, and so I think that uh, he'll have more. Okay. So, player with the highest GPM average, Ramses again. Yeah, again Ramses. Absolutely, because he's going to play good in all the games. Okay, I uh, I have uh, another option for this uh, Shadow. Uh, how do you like Shadow on this? Yeah, one? even 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 Shadow is good, but uh, the thing is that uh, most of the times. Um, uh, wings are just fighting, okay. Yeah. And uh, what Ramses does is that he even has so many last hits. So and even Virtus Pro fights a lot. Okay. Okay. The KDA is more than Wings, and even they, Ramses has more last hits than Shadow in games. So of course, he'll have more GPM than him. Okay. Okay. So. It's just uh, we need to discuss about it so everyone can know why this pick is better. So I'm just letting everyone know uh, that this discussion is just for the fa uh, for the sake of uh, justifying the picks. Okay, so the next one is player that plays the most different heroes. We can go for Blink because of course uh, in Team Wings everyone is going to play different heroes no matter what okay. match they're playing. Right. So uh, we have five options for this: Y, Faith, Beyond, Blink, Ice, Ice, and Shadow. <laughs> yeah. We can pick any hero, but I, uh, I think uh, among these, Shadow would have the among uh, Wings. Shadow would have a less hero pool compared to others uh, because uh, carry hero, carry heroes, yeah, the hard carry carries are, are uh, scarce in the meta. The 
the good carry picks so i think uh, and shadow might be pretty well targeted by the bans as well so they will be banning uh, a pretty uh, good carry heroes so i think blink uh, and blink plays uh, the play making heroes as well as the greedy heroes so blink is a really good choice for this one so yeah, going on to uh, to the easiest and uh, <laughs> fastest section of this prediction the tournament predictions total number of games played in the main event so okay, it's it's going to be group stages and uh, after the group stages 16 teams will make it to the main event there will be according to the current information uh, the boston major it shows that 16 teams in best of 3 single elimination playoff so there will be around 60 games and uh, considering there are some teams that are uh, yeah, clear winners the over the three, others uh, there might be threes. there might be two o's so uh, yeah and uh, the final is a best of 5 so uh, considering one g- approx- that that will most likely be four games i hope it's a five game best of five all five games to the stretch that will be fun to watch so uh what are your prediction for this one this is a really random for question this, uh, it can be I'd anything like to go with uh, 51 to 53 there are only okay. two choices for this one either this one or uh, the one more than 53 okay because um you cannot have less than 51 games because every team is going to have a good output okay, okay. so i And think uh, 51 53 is a wise choice there, there, there will be uh, you know a few 20 series but yeah. i think that uh, there will be more 21s yeah in uh, uh, the ti6 was pretty uh, unpredictable uh, how it went uh most of the teams that we were expecting to win act- actually lost uh and uh, those uh, the games that they lost those were expected to be two o's so uh, many predictions went wrong in the ti regarding this so i think uh, 51 to 53 is a really wise choice here. so yeah. the next one is total number of heroes picked for this i like to go with 91 to 100 91 to 100 okay so uh, i think uh the main event the total number of heroes picked this is for the group stages as well as the main event so let's move on to the next one total number of heroes banned uh for this i like to go for 81 to 90 uh so the next one is most combined total kills in a game in a single game so it can be a really long game with a lots of fights consider wings versus vp or something <laughs> uh, yeah absolutely now now suppose it's a vp versus wings game then the kill score will be 30 for vp and you know 35 for wings or whatever so i think 80 plus is a very good choice so for me 81 to 90 okay 81 to 90 it is then longest game of the tournament um this should be around 80 to 89 82 89 uh yeah. last uh, in uh, what was this one in ti i think it was between 70 to 79 i think yeah yeah this was around 70 to 79 yeah so um i think i'll go with the same 70 to 79 most teams don't go for the longer games right now that chinese yeah, meta is gone yeah. Uh, yeah. and uh, the the heroes that are in play right now they are really uh, in the meta right now they are uh, pretty uh, fast at pushing like uh, carry such as draw and uh, the split pushers more fling invoker is really good at uh, split pushing as well so most most of the teams uh, do prefer at least one fast pusher or uh, a really good split pusher in the team so i think this is a uh, really good choice for us to not go beyond 80 <coughs> uh, so the next one would be the shortest game of the tournament um, so it should be around 15 to 19 minutes okay yeah it's uh, this is uh, this has been the most uh, se- it has been 15 to uh, 15 to 20 most of the in most of the tournament tournaments yes uh, in except one where it was and uh, uh, except one where it was uh, 13 to 14 minutes uh, in one tournament and uh, in earlier ti's when uh, the navi was in semi finals uh, maybe it was ti1 navi was in the semi finals there were 12 minute gg's against uh, 
so <laughs> but that is a long time ago most teams not give up that easily now so yeah, of course things can happen again now but uh, high stakes we stay on the safe side yeah this is the most like the most uh, common answer for this one in the most tournaments so most kills by one hero by a hero in a game we can say 20 to 22 okay 20 we can even 22. go for more we can even go for more yeah but uh, uh, i think i don't go below than this last time it was 23 by uh, qo i guess Yeah. yeah but that was one crazy game right yeah, it was a crazy game yep okay so Those kind of crazy games are very rare most deaths by a hero in a game 12 to 14 12 to 14 feeder of the day <laughs> okay so most assists by a hero in a game we can say 32 to 35 okay 32 to 35 depend uh this this will most likely be uh a radiance hero in my opinion yeah, and sure. a really long game at that alchemist or nagas nagas are in most probably so moving on to the last one highest gpm by a hero in a game this is the easiest uh, of course 1000 uh, plus easiest. there yeah. will be alchemist games and there is no doubt that 1000 plus gpm is going to be in one of those this is in a game not average so this is the e- easiest choice. these are all your predictions for the boston major hope we all hope you all secure some easy points uh, good luck everyone uh, this is accelerate and uh, drifter with me the master statman he writes a lot of articles uh, and uh, on he has some nice posts on reddit regarding the current stats as well which i'll be leaving in the description and uh, i'll also uh, give uh, i'll also leave some screenshots regarding all the final uh, picks of the predictions so in case you don't want to uh, listen to the justification or the reasoning why we have those picks and just want to uh, copy paste it so that's all fine with us so i'll li- i'll be leaving with uh, leaving those uh, screenshots in the description as well